There's one there's one dude who showed up last night at that conclave thing. I gotta get his picture. Cause I I was just baffled. Peep the fear I think I know the dude you mean, and the theory is that's the mysterious Howland Reed. Um like in which case why wasn't Mira there? She's literally the reason Brand's alive, but okay. She doesn't get invited, fine. Yeah, because all of a sudden we're they're bringing back old familiar faces. They had John Aaron you there. Know how Robin Aaron? Never yeah, Robin was Aaron. All of us. Yeah, he got. Apparently, uh, the women are all going. Oh my God, he got hot. He got good looking. He was a frightful looking child. Apparently, breastfeeding helps. A lot. I mean, breastfeed your kids till they're twelve. Apparently. Um. Oh uh, yeah. Here's here's the picture. Uh, who the f YouTube. is that guy? Yeah, the speculation I've seen online is that it's Howland Reed. Really? Mira's father. Yeah. Because it's just at, we're at this. We're seeing all these familiar they faces. Like all That's these people we haven't. Enough. We're seeing all these people we haven't seen in in forever. And then and this guy. Yeah. Of course. Of course. And this guy. The best response I got to this on Twitter was, um, "Dude who said clearly that's the kid from Iron Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> you win, sir." I kind of would have been cool with Sir Davos being on the throne. That was never going to happen. Oh, God, he was great. But I just love Sir Davos. He like, is. master master of diplomacy can defuse any situation. I just love his accent. I fucking love his yeah. accent. Can't go wrong with a Scottish brogue. He's got like, a wonderful accent. Unfailingly likable, no matter how hard you try not to like him. You're going to like him. You can't help. Him. He's Scottish. All right, let's get the nonsense underway now that we've... Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? There's a lot of Florida this week, um, but we're not starting there. We are actually... What are we going to do when Florida's underwater? 50 years from now, Florida's going to be underwater. There's going to be underwater crime then. You think I mean, you think a little flooding is going to stop that shit? I thought you were going to go if you think we're still going to be doing this in 50 years. Because we'll be 90. I will do this in my 90s. I don't know. I might retire before that. You might, but I'm, I'm here. I'm here to like fucking put me in the coffin, man. All right. Uh, let's, we're starting Tennessee this week. And... There's a lot going on in our first story. We'll we'll break it down piece by piece. So, first off, we're straight in our in our normal re wheelhouse. Mafreesboro man wanted for stealing guitar by stuffing it down his pants. Guitar Look at that Wolverine hair. That's we'll get there. We'll get there, Tara. We'll get there. I, it's like I, Fox Seagulls met Wolverine. There are a lot of things going on. Hold on. Um, <laughs> guitar worth nearly $1,000 was swiped from under Dub Hollowell's nose. Uh, he owns the string shop in Mafreesboro on April Dub? 26th. What? Dub. That's a person's name? Dub, yes. Okay, Tennessee. Um... On April 26, police say Hayden Snyder stuffed a Fender Telecaster down his pants and walked out. You know what? Hey, object picture here. All right, let, let, let me show everybody here. Since we have a Fender Telecaster, hold on. Um, this is a Fender Telecaster. That's big. He stuffed this down his pants. <laughs> Was he wearing those like jean coats <laughs> that we wore in the nineties? Uh, stuffed a Fender Telecaster down his pants. Uh, he just walked around real quietly, didn't say goodbye or anything. Now to get better, frankly, well, usually every time his arm touched his leg, it made a strumming sound. But to to. Police say uh, Snyder then did the same thing at Music World and Drummer's Den on Church Street. He's accused of stealing a limited edition guitar worth <laughs> close to $4,000. Police found it at a pawn shop. So pretty much what he was doing is going from music store to music store, 
shoving guitars down his pants. But wait, there's more. Not only has he been going from music store to music store, shoving guitars down his pants, he's been doing this since January. Oh. And also, look, we're talking about the hair. All right, we go from the Wolverine, right? Right, the, the flock of Wolverine, to whatever the hell this is. This, this, yeah. this poof on top of his head, just poof. Weird bouffant thing. He's been doing this since January. They know his name, Hayden Snyder. Police are aware of him. Why has he been allowed to do this since January? As He's feeding the man from Mars? Ah, uh, it's just Hayden. He, uh, he puts Stuff guitars. Stuffing cars and eating bars and... <laughs> Now he only eats guitars. <laughs> what? Who doesn't like Blondie? Half the, half the audience doesn't get it. Ah, white girl rap. Um, the original white girl rap. My God. So yeah, th so this guy is... Okay, Trance Warp wins. He's been on a serial fender bender. <laughs> But just since January, people are like, yeah, that's Hayden. He'll shove your guitar down his pants. You got to watch him. Why is he not in jail? Right. How have you not caught him? He took a $4,000 limited edition guitar from the store, put it in his pants, and these are not small, nor is it now, light. What pants is this dude wearing? These are Probably like the Justin Bieber harem pants. Just the body alone weighs several pounds because there's... There's the body, it's solid wood, there's electronics in there, and you have the neck. This is not a, a like a feather light instrument. Boom, right in his pants. The fuck are you doing? Yeah, like how are you not noticing that? How is he not in jail? Where are the cops? Look, I know there might be more pressing issues in the bustling metropolis of Mafreesboro. Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. I, I know that. Murfreesboro. Oh, I used to do ads in their local paper. I want to say Murfreesboro, okay. so let me say Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Okay. Um, but still, what the fuck? Like, do you guys not have employees? Because I've worked a lot of retail, and we get we would get pictures of known shoplifters, and your job was to annoy the shit out of them and live up their ass. Yeah, because you can't throw them out of the store. No, and you can't accuse them of stealing, because then they might get offended. But y'all can hover. But you can live up their ass. Yes. Uh, don't also... Where are all the, like, young dudes in garage bands making minimum wage to live up his ass? Also, here's another thing. That $4,000 guitar, that limited edition one... It's still getting sold to somebody because these things, this is not like, you know, when you go into a store and someone tears the packaging and you send it back. No, no. Guitars are different. That one's going to turn up. Yeah. So someone out there, thanks to douche nozzle here, is going to have the, 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 the crotch rubbed finish. It's, it's been crotch rubbed. Special edition. God, fuck this guy. Aren't the strings made of, like, animal guts? No. How precious are we going to be? Oh, no, 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 no. We haven't done that in centuries. Oh, really? What are they made of now? Uh, Nylon for uh, acoustic instruments, and for electric, it's um, nickel, nickel wound, wound nickel metal. They're metal strings. Oh. That makes sense, because I stepped on a guitar string once and it sliced my foot open. Yes, they are very sharp. Yeah. They, oh, yeah, they haven't used animals for at least a century, if not longer. Well, okay, then. Yeah, it's just it, we don't do it anymore. Because, well, it's, it's, it's inefficient and expensive. Not because it's cruel, but because it costs too much to tear animals open and make shit out of their tendons. So That's the only reason we stopped doing anything. <laughs> Oh, well, we have another one of the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Every week, we're... This happens every... I'm... Oh! 
I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to go with this. Um Newsflash morons, I'm in Edmonton. Wanted British Columbia man arrested after revealing location to media. Oh, honey. Jesse Dean uh, Kowalchuk has been transported back to Kamloops from Edmonton uh, to face char to face a judge for three charges of breach of probation stemming from three separate files in 2015. Last December, Kowalchuk <laughs> saw his photo being circulated by Kamloops media outlets uh, as part of a most wanted sec weekly most wanted segment. He then sent a direct message on Facebook. Newsflash, morons. I'm in Edmonton and I'm not coming back. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment online <laughs> when the need to prove someone wrong has outweighed your own self-preservation instincts? <laughs> <laughs> Dan has that moment at least once a week. Yeah. You know, you, you, I remind him orange is not his color. It's one of those minutes. It's one of those moments you want to, you should step back and walk away and let it the fuck go. But you don't. And you know, you're stupid while you do it, but you're also right. Which is the important part. That's the more important part. Well, I love it. In like Ecuador, that would work because that's a non-extradition country. The, you were in Edmonton, which is the same country. The police, the, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police have the most shade here. This is, um, um, quote, we're just really pleased he sent us the message advising where he was living in Alberta, and we were able to extend the warrants to Alberta so we could bring him back here to face charges. So thank you. He's <laughs> thanking his ass. How, is there anything more Canadian? No. There than the no. police thank <laughs> Like, unless they were... <laughs> actively guzzling maple syrup <laughs> with a hockey stick. No, that, there is nothing more Canadian than that. That is like that sugar we sprinkle. Just, you know, we just want to thank him for turning himself in, eh? That's like that sugar sprinkled shade, you know? Yeah. That's the shade that's that's so bad for you, but it tastes so good. That's, that's a that... Canadian bless your heart. Oh, God, yes. Oh, oh God. Well, this is, I don't know whose fault this is, but it, it involves Charleston. So it's someone's fault. I, so it's yours. Yeah. It's, it's nearby. Um, okay. Did you get into Legos as a kid? I was not allowed to have Legos as a kid. My mom had a thing about choking hazards. Right. I remember that. Yeah. So we weren't allowed to have anything with small parts. I remember that. I, I, I had Legos. I specifically got into Legos thanks to McDonald's because for like ever they had these little Happy Meal packs with little and I used to keep getting Happy Meals and Happy Meals and Happy Meals. I was a very large child, but also what I had was a whole bunch of, of, of Lego packets that I combined together because they were very little ones. But, you know, every time we get a Happy Meal. Yeah, I was a yeah. large. I was a fat kid. Um, <laughs> I was I was husky. My town didn't get a McDonald's till I was in high school. You had to drive 15 minutes to the nearest McDonald's until I was in high school. Well, anyway, we're getting off the subject, which is Legos, but I also, know. also horror. Lego box contained meth. Box of Legos that was supposed to can't contain 244 pieces of brick gears and axles instead held three pounds of methamphetamine, according to Georgia police. But were there 244 rocks? <clears throat> Investigators say a trio of Georgia women recently purchased the Lego kit at a consignment shop in Charleston, South Carolina, brought it home to Statesboro, where they gave the set, which retails for $15.99 at Walmart, to a child. On opening the box, it was quickly determined the package contained no colorful plastic pieces. Instead, as seen above in the above evidence photo, the box was stuffed with meth police valued at $40,000. Well, they got a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, ladies. That's like some antiques roadshow shit, only, That's you know. value. It, only, you know, it's meth. <laughs> yeah, you, your kid probably doesn't need that. Kid doesn't need but that. value. I 
some all the first thing I thought when I was reading the story is someone in Charleston is in deep shit. Yeah. Because what I figure happened, and this is just my mind making up my little Breaking Bad scenario here. What I think happened was this was a handoff. Okay. Somebody got real smart. They're like, okay, I'm going to put the meth in a Lego box at the store and you go buy it. Yeah. Because no one's going to buy Legos at a consignment shop. Oh, wait. Someone bought the Legos at the consignment shop. Fuck. And now Jesse Pinkman is fucked. The meth is gone. Where's my fucking money? Someone's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. This was a bad idea. This was an all around, everyone involved. This was a scheme that did not evolve well. Yeah, you get like an unwitting third party involved. You put a, you inject a lot of risk into your scheme. Mm hmm. You, you, you just this is. This, I, I'm honestly thinking this is a Breaking Bad kind of thing. This is like a season yeah. two Breaking Bad event. This is something Jesse Pinkman would definitely think of. Yes. Someone's getting a visit from Gus Fring. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay, Arisa said, that's why you use Duplos. That's true. <laughs> no one buys Duplos. Are Duplos worse? They're the big ones for little chi little kids. Oh, okay. They're the giant fucking Legos. I, I just could have used Mega Bloks. No one would notice. <laughs> or like Lincoln Logs. Uh, I just... Hell. Get really clever and use a grow a crystal crystal kit. Nobody buys them, and it's funny. Also, this is another one of those moments where I'm like, okay, you bought this for your kid, you open it up, there's the meth. Now what? Now your kid is screaming. Yeah. Because he doesn't have Lego. Uh-huh. And you have a big old bag of meth. Yeah. Yeah, you do. And everybody's day is ruined. Yeah, it is. And, and you also, you have to um, contact the authorities. Yes, you do. Uh-oh. How do you do that? How do you get, like, call up? Yeah, hi, um, we found a bunch of, we found, like, three pounds of meth. Uh, yeah, no, no, we found it. No, no, it's not ours. No. No, no, we, we bought it at the consignment shop by accident. <laughs> we bought meth on accident. Hello? <laughs> Like, hello, the cops are like, that's a new one. <laughs> that's a new one. Put that on the whiteboard. Shit. Uh, well, th I think this next story is definitely meth adjacent, if nothing else, <laughs> um, because it's one of the, it's the first thing I thought of when I read the account of what happened here. Shirtless Florida man steals police cruiser, leads cops on a 149 mile per hour chase. A shirtless man managed to steal a Florida Highway Patrol trooper's cruiser and lead law enforcement officials on an 11 mile chase that reached speeds of up to 149 miles per hour. According to law enforcement, a Florida Highway Patrol trooper was cruising up Florida's turnpike near Okeechobee. That's a fun one to say. Uh, when he saw the suspect, later ident identified as 22-year-old Shane Jensen, sitting in the shoulder of the northbound lane. The trooper pulled up to speak with the shirtless Jensen for a few minutes, believing the man to be, quote, medically distressed, because the 22-year-old was incoherent when the trooper began talking to him. Meth. However, when the... Sitting on the side of a highway? Meth. However, when the trooper turned to speak with a Florida Department of Transportation road ranger, investigators say Jensen saw his chance to take the trooper's 2013 Dodge Charger. Video footage of the incident showed the shirtless suspect jumping into the trooper's cruiser and driving off, even as the trooper yelled commands for him to stop. The trooper set up a roadblock, causing traffic to slow until the suspect was caught up in the gridlock, Three officers approached the cruiser and attempted to open the passenger side door to get inside and stop him, but he was able to get away after accelerating through the road shoulder to escape. When Jensen made to the roadblock, he turned and fled. Footage of the chase, so Jensen speeding and weaving through traffic. Eventually, the suspect drove over a spike strip 
forcing him to come to a stop. He exited the vehicle and attempted to flee on foot. They always do that. They always stop the car and try to run. He didn't get far. You gotta know when you're beat. Officers arrested him. Everything about this says to me, meth. They switched spelling on this guy's name halfway through the article, and it's yeah. pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> they go from Jensen to Jansen. Editing. I okay. So shirtless oh, on the side. Fucker of a sunburn. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You can see it in the picture too. He's got. Yeah. So shirtless on the side of the highway. Meth. Yeah. <laughs> Babbling incoherently. Meth. When a police officer stops to converse with you, steal his car, meth. Drive it at 149 miles per hour, meth. Drive over a spike strip and then dive out and try to run away, meth. They always try to run away. They always do. Why? Like, you gotta know when you've lost. It never works. Don't make them chase you. That just may... Okay. Not only because they're mad, right? If they just lock you, you're going to jail. Yeah. Do you do you just want to go to jail when everyone's like, you know, they, they're calm, they're not winded, they're not sweaty, or do you want to take mad? Do you want mad people taking you to jail? You don't want them angry during the strip search. No, you don't want that. You don't want them cranky. That's. I really want to know how he came to be just sitting on the side of a highway. We covered this, Tara. <laughs> Try to keep up. <laughs> but there has to be something between meth and sitting on the side of a highway. Like, there's a movie in there. I promise you he doesn't remember a single minute of it. Yeah. He meth poured it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if that drug can give you the ability to teleport, I finally get it. Well, it doesn't I'm give you to figure out why people do meth for like five years. And if you can teleport on that shit, I get it. Well, it doesn't so much give you the ability to teleport as you forget how you got somewhere, which is just about the same thing. Mm. See, that wouldn't help me. I need <laughs> teleportation because I'm always 15 minutes late. <sighs> so if I just think I teleported, but I'm still late, that doesn't help me. Next one's Tacoma, and this is just, this is like a Slender Man, but real. Um, I don't know. Slender Man is real, Nash. I, I don't know what the hell. Oh, yeah, well, you're, you know, you're trying to freak me out. This is a real story. This is going to freak you out. Video shows suspected burglar inside Tacoma building naked. Um, and you're like, well, what's the big deal about that? Okay. Tacoma police tell KIRO7 they've launched a burglary investigation. They're looking for a man in connection with at least five downtown area break-ins at businesses and residences. Uh, KIRO7 obtained video from one break-in um, that shows the man at one point holding what appears to be a knife behind his back. He later appears in the video naked. Just kind of lurking in the corners and whatnot, said one of the building owners, who was too shaken to show her face on camera. Um, I don't want people to feel unsafe coming here, so it's a real fine line, yet I feel a sense of obligation that people need to know. So in Tacoma, Washington, there's a guy, and they, they know who he is, 31-year-old Tyrese E. Drayton. There's a, Mr., there's a warrant for his arrest. Mr. Drayton! is showing up, breaking into to houses and businesses, naked with a knife. In and the socks. middle of the night. He has his socks on. He doesn't steal anything. He just hangs out. He just goes into these buildings, gets naked, and walks around with a fucking knife. What the fuck is going on here? What is this shit? This sounds know. like some Portland bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like Tacoma doesn't have time for this hipster crime bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that is just great. I can you imagine? Just I understand how this poor lady feels. Right, just like a naked dude, just hanging around. Because if I came back from a trip and I like I checked my cameras in my house and there's footage, nothing's touched. My pets are fine. Nothing's taken. There's just this footage of this naked dude walking around with a knife in my house. I'm a freak the fuck out. That's some creepy shit. To be fair, I think Simba would probably bite the shit out of that dude. So I'd have video of that. <laughs> he is part Cobra. That's true. This is... Okay, uh, Lemon Song says, Obviously the ghost can't see you if you wear clothes. That's just facts. Uh, the, the ghost see... If you wear clothes, the ghost can see you. I see. I see. We trace the call if a naked man is inside the house. The is penis ghost? is coming from inside the house! Are ghosts all naked? They might be. Yeah, people are pointing out, it's one thing to break into a house naked, it's another thing to break into a house naked with a knife. It's even more to do it five fucking times. Yeah. That is... Mmm! Flutternutter says, this sounds like a scene from Legion. It does. It fucking does. Well, when you said Slender Man, I was like, is it Doug Jones? No, different, different thing. Is Doug Jones breaking into places? No, he's not. I just, that. That would also be creepy. That would. I love him. Great actor. But hello, don't do that. Um, pretty sure I wouldn't even ask for his autograph after that. Um. If he was just hanging out in your building naked? Yeah, with a knife. I'd be like... I, I probably wouldn't. No, I'd skip that. Yeah, you do you, pal. You have a nice night. Um, Not a great time to ask questions about Hellboy. <laughs> Final one tonight. This is... How how Florida can you fucking get? Oh, my God. Remember we had that um, story a while back about the, those absolute legends that tried to steal the, the tequila? Yeah. Those They almost got away with it, too. This is like the exact opposite of that. Florida man arrested after allegedly stealing truck full of coffins. Why? <laughs> Florida Highway Patrol arrested a man who was suspected of stealing a truck full of caskets in Jacksonville. Sheriff's Office had alerted Highway Patrol to be on the lookout for a rider truck that had been reported stolen from a Jacksonville casket company. Highway Patrol located the vehicle shortly before noon, but when a trooper ran, trags, uh, ran tags on the truck, the driver failed to pull over. Um, despite being chased for over 20 miles, the driver, who was later identified as 39-year-old David Ayers, uh, never drove above the speed limit. He was not driving in an erratic manner. Troopers arrested Iyer and found the truck to be carrying a load that included three caskets. Uh, officers unless unlocked the casket with the tool they borrowed from a funeral home just to make sure there was nobody in there. Yeah. In addition for the caskets, troopers found a payment collection machine belonging to a car wash. Could be anywhere from 20 bucks to several hundred bucks and quarters in the machine. Or a highway patrol added Iyer's probably ripped out car wash vacuum machines out of the car wash to get the money out. Okay. So the truck is really just a transportation device. Yes, but how did... Because my concern was, I'm concerned about somebody that needs to steal caskets in bulk. I'm concerned about why they need to do that. I feel like there's a greater crime. Yeah. That we're missing. I just... I, I just... But if it was just I need a truck to well, transport my stolen car wash money... It's not just I need a truck because it's I need a truck and you know where you were stealing it from. You saw them loading fucking caskets in the fucking truck. Yeah, that's creepy. When you put the when you busted off the vacuum things, you put them in the back with the fucking. And here's another thing: uh, Does anyone here um, watch Six Feet Under? Old show, uh, good show. You should watch it. Um, there are rules for caskets. Um, they have to be handled in a certain way. It's like the law. Um, I did not know that. Yeah, and this could. 
stealing these caskets and having the police having to open them and mess around inside them could make them unusable. Really? Yeah. Why? There were the, it, all sorts of rules and regulations regarding the disposal of human remains. Like that whole, we can't let you leave here without a vessel thing from Big yeah. Lebowski. That's for real. You can't, they can't, they legally, they cannot do that shit. You have to, you have to have some, so yeah, this, this is just fucking fuck. And caskets are not cheap. No, no, they're not. They can run you 10 grand. What? They'll run you 10 grand. They will. And that's not even like for a really, fa- and I don't really understand why we do really fancy caskets. Yeah. Who's going to see it? I mean, if you're the worms, wake, if you're having a wake, yeah. But after that, like, that's the thing that that's specifically what they did in the show. Um, one of the guys tried to do a favor for this. He, he was not following the rules. He tried to do a favor for a poor family. He let them put the body in the casket for the wake and then take the body out. Uh, and then that casket's gone now. They can't do shit with it. It's, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they just were, wanted to do it for... for I mean, for you the, wouldn't want to pass any germs on to the next corpse. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, look, I, I, I can understand you get desperate in life and you need to do certain things, but when you're stealing caskets... That's a low. Yeah. What the fuck? What was he going to do with them? Yeah, what were you going to do with them when you finished stealing quarters from the car wash? Which, you know, woo, aim high. I mean, what? It's like, well, I needed a coffee table. <laughs> I mean... You know, the light always comes in my bedroom window in the morning anyway. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lady just gets says, this is why I'm doing cremation. Yeah. They have things now where they put you in a, like a big, they fold you in half and they put you in like a pond thing and you fertilize a tree. Then they plant yeah. a tree and you fertilize a tree. And I kind of like that. I would like to be a tree. Yeah. That's uh, that's a green funeral. That's what they call that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be much nicer <clears throat> than some stone. That people Wait, they talking. bend you in half. Where do they put the tree? Oh. No, like to, because it's a vertical pod. So they bend you in half. Uh huh. Put soil in, I guess. Okay, and but the tree on top of you. Yeah, but that you're bent in half, like upwards. Okay. All right. All right. I had a different, different no. picture in mind. Like if you're doing a sit up, you're bent in half this way. Here's so it's kind of on your tummy, I guess. Here's a memorial for you. You are now a butt tree. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can request that. <laughs> so I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, have a little pride in what you steal. Don't be that low. Don't be that fucking low. Come yeah, on. Or that fucking creepy. You know, we've all seen Le Miz. We know you sometimes you got to you got to steal for that that loaf of bread. But uh, um, not a coffin, not not a fucking coffin, not three coffins. What are you doing? Because if you're stealing coffins, they're going to search your house. Because they're going to be like, where are the bodies? We've learned that if somebody breaks into your house naked with a knife and doesn't steal anything, run. I mean, that- Dan does that at night, but he lives here. <laughs> I'm used to him walking around naked with a knife in the middle of the night. It's just, you know, how we live. <laughs> he sleepwalks and he's paranoid. Um, We've learned that while meth does not allow you to teleport, it does make the journey a lot quicker w- via editing. And weirder. Yeah. We've also learned someone in... Th- there is a drug mule in Charleston, South Carolina tonight who is in a fuckload of trouble. Yeah. Somebody out there is... He's, he's going to get... They're, they're going to put him in a plastic barrel with the acid. Yeah. Um, we've learned that Sometimes, even if you're right online, just let it go. It's Sometimes better to it really let it better to just let it go. Yeah, just just know in yourself that you are right. 
And that's all you need. You don't gotta prove that shit. <laughs> and, and finally, we've learned this week that uh, apparently you could just steal guitars in Tennessee and no one's gonna stop you. Yeah. For months. You can just walk around shoving guitars down your pants for half a year. This is, it's, it's like an episode of, of the Andy Griffith show where they keep locking up the same drunk guy. <laughs> Except instead of being drunk, he's shoving, well, you got yeah. guitars down your pants again. We'll have you for tonight. That's just a warning. You stop putting oh, them. Cletus. Oh, Cletus, you stop putting them guitars down. <laughs> John said, did he steal Eva's guitar? No, then fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tennessee. That might be like. Yeah. I just the the idea of putting this yeah that's down, large. Even if you put it down this way, do you? Th this is the heavy part. So you that's have the only thing I can think of is you put that part down and then pull your shirt over the top. Yeah, you put the neck down, but this yeah. is very heavy. So yeah. this is dragging your fucking pants down. What the, what the hell were you thinking? Well, apparently he was thinking it worked because he kept getting away with it for and months. He was thinking pawning them for money. And apparently he was onto something. I, I don't know what's worse, that he was doing it or that it worked because now this is going to be a thing. Yeah. Stop encouraging them! How is his dick not ribbons from the guitar strings? That's a solid point. They're sharp. Like I said, I've stepped on one. It's not fun. That's like something out of fucking Saw the Musical. <laughs> the password is dick ribbons. 